channel. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while because I got my wisdom teeth taken out last week, um, but I'm doing better and I was so ready to make a video. So I'm gonna show you guys how I got this smoky eye using Tarte's Tardiest Pro Palette. I absolutely love it. So keep watching and I will show you guys exactly what I did to get this. First, I'm gonna start with my concealer. Um, just above my eyebrows and <clears throat> I just use the concealer as um, just like a base for my brow balm to stay and I'm gonna use a shade that is a couple shades lighter than my skin color so I'm gonna use the shade right in here and I'm just going to apply this right above my eyebrow and this is going to make your eyebrows stand out a little bit and then like I said also act as a base for our brow balm. Next I'm going to go in with my brow balm and I'm using the shade Brunette from In The Village and I'm taking my brow brush and you're going to follow your natural hairline. Next, I'm going to go in with the Deep Brunette. This is just a couple shades darker than the Brunette, but I like to fill in any spaces. It's just right in through there, and then I'm just brushing off any extra product that I don't want. Like that. And you can see the difference. Full eyebrow, not so full. All right, and then same thing on the other side, super easy. Eyebrows are complete. Um, sometimes when I do a dramatic eye, I like to do my eyebrows a little bit darker because I want them to also stand out with the eyeshadow. I don't want my eyeshadow to be like super dark or glittery and then it not really look like my eyebrows are done. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the concealer and just highlight under my eyebrow. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that same shade that we used before. Now I'm going in with my MAC Paint Pot as a primer and I'm going to apply this with a larger concealer brush and put that all over my eyelid. Same thing on the other side. You always want to use a primer when you are applying eyeshadow. Um, it'll just keep your eyeshadow in place all day long, especially if you're using like glittery colors or shimmery colors. You don't want that to crease anywhere, so it's really good to use a primer. So here is our Tardius Pro palette that we will be using today. Um, and I think because my lip color is very purpley plummy, we'll do like a purpley plummy pinky eye. I'm going to go in with my transition color and I'm using my MAC 217 brush. It's my favorite blending brush. And I'm just going to use this innocent color here. It's this like lighter pink color. And I'm going to go right under that highlight. And if you want, you can take a clean blending brush and just kind of blend that in. So you can see this color is really transitioning our brow highlight and then later on into our darker crease color. Right, so next I'm going to go in with this purpley no filter color 
even though I'm sure I'm going to filter this picture later. All right, so you really want to pat off any extra color because this palette is highly pigmented, so the colors um, come up exactly how they look in the palette. A little bit goes a very, very long way. So I'm just going to apply this right under that innocent color and kind of just blend the two. Okay, just like that. And same thing on the other side. Okay, and then you can always go back in um, with that transition color, which would be innocent, and you can just kind of um, blend the two really good together. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Just kind of blend that all in. All right, next I'm going to go in with this vamp color here. And it's kind of um, plummy, bluish, blackish. I don't know, but it's a really good crease color. So I'm just going to use a smaller brush like this one. And I'm just going to place it right here in the crease. And I'm more just like packing it down rather than blending right now. I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. All right, and now I'm going to go in with that MAC brush that 217 blending brush and I wiped off any extra color and I'm just going to blend that vamp shade in. And then if you feel like um, you didn't blend smoothly you could take your clean brush and just kind of get in there really good. And smooth all that out. Now I'm going to go in with my lid color and I'm going to take just a very flat eyeshadow brush like this one all right, and I'm actually going to spray the brush with a setting spray. We're going to use this minx color that's right in here and we're just going to place that right on the lid. Okay, so our eyes are complete. This is the first time I've ever done my eyes after I did all my foundation and everything, so this was a little different for me. So now we're gonna do eyeliner, and I'm gonna use In the Village's Felt Tip Liner. It's one of my favorite eyeliners. It's um, comparable to Stila's Felt Tip Liner. Next, I'm going to go in with mascara and then apply lashes. Now I'm going to line my eye with the Tardius Pro eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use the no filter shade and I'm just going to use a really tiny skinny pencil brush and I'm just going to apply it right under my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to take that vamp shade, that really dark one, this one right in here, and I'm just going to apply that on the outside corners. Now I'm going to take an eyeliner pencil and just place this right where I placed Vamp. And same thing on the other side. And I'm also going to place it on the waterline of my eye. And then I'm going to complete the look with mascara on the bottom lashes. 
and I think that is it. Alright guys, so there was my eye tutorial using Tarte's Tardiest Pro Palette. I hope that it helped you guys. I hope that you guys can achieve the same look that I got. Um, and I forgot to apologize that my hair looks a hot mess. I went to the gym this morning. I went out to breakfast. I have to go grocery shopping later. So, sorry about the hair. Um, it's more about the makeup anyway. <laughs> so yeah, so I hope this this video helped you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and stay tuned because I will have more videos coming for you guys. <laughs>